September 30th. I'm getting ready right now. I have a few meetings that I actually have this morning. This afternoon, Josh told me to keep my calendar clear, okay? So he told me about this like a week ago. So obviously, I have a lot of thoughts running through my head as to what this possibly could be. He said we're gonna be going on an adventure. I'm a little suspectful, so I'm like, what the hell is going on? And I keep asking him for clues. And I'm like, what should I wear? I'm like, should I have my nails done? I'm like, is today gonna be the day? Kind of freaking out because I'm like, I have a feeling that today might be the day that he proposes, which is like so crazy to think about. Like it's even like weird having those words come out of my mouth. And I'm like, no, is it? But who knows? We might just go on a hike. I don't know. <laughs> I'm like kind of nervous. I just don't know. I think like all girls always think about like the day that you know their person proposes to them. You just never know what to expect. Like I was just trying to think like what is he gonna, what would he say? Like and then I'm also thinking like okay if it doesn't happen today like don't be disappointed you know. Like, so all of these crazy thoughts are running through my head. I've also been having kind of like crazy dreams this week just like thinking about it and I'm like is it really happening? Yeah. Ugh. I don't know. I'll keep you posted though. Okay, so I'm gonna spend the next couple hours until she wakes up planning out the day and it's about 6 a.m. We're gonna be going for a little ride about 10. So I have some time. I'm gonna clean up. We're just about to start our day. We just got some work done. Jack Gunn has no idea what we're doing. Since we moved here, we've always talked about getting electric bikes. And so the first thing that we're, that we're gonna be doing is, check it out. We're gonna take these bad boys on a ride. She's up there on a call. I think she's gonna like it. Jacqueline, what do you think we're gonna be doing? I have no idea. This is so random. This is so random. It's like a random Thursday, but you got all your work done. But we're gonna get, the shoes dirty? We might get the shoes dirty. Those look like the perfect shoes though. Okay. All right, about to leave. Just waiting for Slowpoke. Oh my God. What was that? You say let's go, and then you go and you start trimming your beard in the shower. Well, I mean, yeah, look at this scraggly beard. <laughs> then you weren't ready. All right, come on, now I'm ready, let's go. So that plant right there, we name it Sunny after Sunny was our friend's friend. First day we met and Sunny actually encouraged Jacqueline and I to kiss. And so that was, uh, that's why we named it Sunny. All right, you ready? It's true. Now it has the sunniest corner of the house. Sunny, if you're out there, we- Thank you. Thank you. All right, <laughs> come on. Can I drive? Um, yeah, I'll drive. Babe, what is that? Wait, what is what? What is that? <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, we got bikes. Come on, let's go. Oh my gosh. Wait, what? Yeah, they deliver them straight to our place. Come on. So yeah, we're actually not gonna take my car alive. We're gonna take these. You get the you get the one over there. Oh my god, this is so cool. And we got little yeah, saddlebags. Oh my god, how cute. I can put my little sweater. Oh how fun. Yeah. This big hill. Go. That was so cool. It's really hard to hold this thing while you're biking. It's a little challenge. I probably shouldn't do it. Even when life seems uncertain, keep paddling. We rented bikes, now we're about to buy some bikes. <laughs> yeah. Same day. Same day. How did you find us? Just you driving by. Have you been here? Have we been here? Have we been here? A year? The Doheny bike. Oh, oh, those are pretty new. Oh, we only have two of those left. Is this your company? Oh, yeah. Nice. Voyager, the Doheny bike. My <laughs> first time. The gear is gonna go down to four. Just ride it like a regular bike. Okay. And then when you're ready, um, punch the throttle. Okay. All right, so we ended up renting bikes and now we are 
switching them out and now we're test riding these bad boys these are locals fresh mint out of the box yes How was it? <laughs> it was epic. It was like everything I ever dreamed of living here. Wow. <laughs> what was your favorite part? The surprise. It's always the best. Yeah. And going up the hill. All right, so we are about to leave and go out to the next spot. And I'm trying to get ready over here. And uh, I realized I really have no clothes. Where are all my clothes? Okay, so we just got into the car. Um, we, I just got ready. I put on this like boho dress. I have had literally this had this dress for like six, seven years, I think, and I have never worn it. For some reason, tonight felt like the night. I don't know why. I don't even know what we're doing, where we're going. I have no hints. We also just ate, so I know we're not going to dinner. He says it's going to be somewhat beachy, somewhat sandy, somewhat nice. I don't know. It's the best place I've ever seen in London. The best place? Yeah, it's like literally the best place in the place for mine. Okay, see that's what he keeps saying. All these like very vague stuff, so we shall see. Alright, so here we are. Where are we? At the montage Sick. of perfect weather. Epic weather. This is so cool. All right, babe. What are we, we doing? We don't have much time. We have to go right now. Come this way. We have like literally maybe two minutes. Two minutes. We we don't have time. We got we gotta freaking run to the elevator. Why are we running? Let's see. All right, so we have a place to go to, and we literally have like two seconds. So. Right when this opens, a few seconds for what? We have to walk extremely fast, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right, Jacqueline, we do not have this much time. Just sit there and take your time. We don't have much time. Okay, so we just got to the montage and now we are like rushing. Keep saying that we have like two minutes. We're on the beach now and I still don't know what we're doing. All waiting for Jacqueline and Josh. <laughs> Hiding behind the bushes.
Jacqueline, show me. Oh my God. Show me. Show me. Woo! All right, cheers. 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 It was so perfect. Oh my God, I can't believe it happened. I can't believe it didn't work. When's the wedding? <laughs> September 30th. Yeah. It's a day to remember. Okay, so it's the morning after. I just wanted to sit down and have a little chat with you to recap this whole experience that just happened. I couldn't have thought of a better, more perfect day. Everything from our bike tour, to our new town, being able to explore it, the way he surprised me with the bikes outside. I wore the perfect dress without knowing, the sunset, the weather, the photographers, and then the way my family surprised me, and the ring. I thought the surprises were over, and then my friends came down. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Everything that happened, it was just so absolutely perfect, and I can't believe how perfect it was and it just like reconfirmed everything with him of like how much he knows me how thoughtful he is and how loving he is what an amazing man he is that he just put all this together i feel so grateful <laughs> i can't believe i'm like getting emotional again like talking about it but it's just it was like such a perfect day and I do feel so grateful for his love and my family and my friends. I just couldn't imagine it going like any better. <laughs> I just feel so happy and like pinching myself. Like, is this really real? Like I woke up and I put this on and I was like, wait, yes, no, this is real. <laughs> it's still here. And I don't even know what he said. Like I actually, we, we came home and I was like, can you tell me again what you said? I was so overwhelmed that I just like blacked out. I didn't even really hear him. Him. He keeps telling everyone that I paused when he asked to marry me because I, I did because I was so shocked. So we came home and then he told me again like everything he said. He told me that this ring was just to remind me of how valuable I am and that he values me so much and every time I look at this ring to remind myself of that and I just thought that that was like so sweet and yeah, I just feel so grateful and now I'm going to start planning a wedding, which is so crazy. I'm like overwhelmed with joy and I just think it was just so perfect for me. And so if you're out there and you're just like, haven't gotten engaged yet, just know that everything is happening perfectly for you in your own perfect timing, in your most perfect way. That has been my mantra for myself for so many years because I just watched so many of my friends get married and I was like, why hasn't it happened to me? And I kind of got into that like sad, really single sad, <laughs> depressing state of mind. But I would comfort myself and bring myself out of it to bring myself into a more positive state where I could truly be happy without a man. I think then when I came into partnership, then I became so much more of a like an independent whole person to be just complete before I met him. And so I just want to remind you of that, that everything is happening perfectly for you at your own perfect time, in your own perfect way. Trust the process, allow it to come. Enjoy your life in the meantime. I will be sharing all of the journey of the wedding planning and the dress shopping. It's going to be a blast and probably stressful, but I'm going to definitely make sure that I don't get stressed and try to enjoy it. Love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching 
watching this and watching all the way to the end and being here with me and congratulating us. Your love and everything means so much to me and I'm just so grateful for you and this amazing community that we get to have together. Love you so much. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Push that like button, comment down below. I'll be commenting back to everybody. I'll see you in the next video. Love you, bye.